I was born in Brazil, in a town called Apucarana, in the south of Brazil. So, in what year? In 1962, a long time ago. 1962, cool. So, um, you're here today to sort of tell us about your experiences, about, you know, sort of coming to this area, the Goldfinger, Trellick Towers um, estate. Uh, so what got you into the sort of like coming into this area to do what you do? Yeah, I first came around because of the, the canal, okay? Come to cycle in the canal for a walk and things. And then I saw they have the skateboard in there. And then I, I get a skateboard and I, I have used to use the skateboard when I was a kid. I had a skateboard. But then I saw the facilities of then and I try to start. About two years now I am on the skateboard in there. Once every two weeks or so I'm always in there enjoying the skateboard. The what? The basketboard? The skateboard. There is a skateboard in here just around Meanwhile Gardens. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's part of the complex in here. Tell me more about it. Well, I do go in the skateboard and I enjoy it. That's that's to keep fit, you know. I'm not young anymore. I have to move a bit, otherwise, uh, otherwise you lose, you know. <laughs> if you snooze, you lose. <laughs> so you said um, you used to skateboard as a kid. Yes. Um, did you keep that up all through your life? Was that no, no, I, I. In the 70s I stopped, I never did again, but uh, when I saw the facilities in here, you know, getting old, I, kept, I started to doing it again. And I'm about two years on it now. And what facilities did you have when you were younger? As a kid? Oh, we don't have this kind of boat, beautiful. It's in Brazil, you know, it's poor. The government does not have money to build this kind of, of things for the kids to play. It was on a flat surface in Brazil. In here is much better. Do you find that Trellick Towers is sort of the only area or one of the only areas where you can could come and do what you do? Yes, I like this area. I like the Trellick Tower. I think it's beautiful. It's a nice building. It's a listed building. I like it. Could you talk more about it being a listed building? What does that mean? It means it's a, it's a, a building, but the the architecture is appreciated by the government because they want to preserve it. It's something that they don't want to build something around to to make any changes or anything. It's something that you don't change. Are you aware of the changes that are going to happen? I I was aware today. I never heard about this before. Yeah. Today I that's why I'm here. Today I heard that they are making a project to make changes in the graffiti area or some. And I totally opposed to that. That's why I'm here to show my opinion. In a in a listed building, you you don't make a change. You don't make extensions. You don't build anything around. It. This is a nice preservation area, a nice garden. Meanwhile, meanwhile gardens, the Goldfinger area, is, it's good the way that it is. So That's why it's listed because we like what we have in here. So we're just going to show you a couple of pictures to see if you recognize any of the areas. Uh, these are all pictures of the area where they're sort of going to do the redevelopment. Yeah, re redevelopment. Oh, it's, look, it's aerial pictures. Yes, yes, I recognize it. You recognize it? Yes. The car park, the, the Trellick building. I like the aerial picture. Chelter and State. Is there anything in these photos that stands out to you? What stands out really is the, the Trellick Tower. Why? This this building, I like it. Tell me more why you like it. It's it's Something beautiful, architecturally to you're talking, it's something beautiful, the way that the, the tower is, is thin and long and the stairs outside, it's something, something nice, I like this, this extension where the stairs is outside, okay, mm -hmm. I like it. 
And there's empty uh, open spaces, you know, the big car park, a nice sunny, sunny place, you know. There's a space for kids to run and things. It's nice. I like it. In your own words, how would you describe Trellick Towers and the areas around it? In my own words, I would dis in the, um, it's a, like, a nice architectural design. I don't know how old it is, okay, but I, it's, it's something nice. It's um, a nice development. It's done, it's finished. You don't have to do anything in it anymore. That's what it is now. I'm saying these words because I'm opposed to any development in this area. For me, what we have in here is what we need. We don't need anything else apart from what we already got. You know what I mean. Thank you. Um, from you know, you've, you've, you've told us a lot about the skate um, skate area, skateboard area. Yes. Um, just tell us a bit more about that. What you do there, you know, and, and you know um, how you got to know about the space. Because you don't, you said off record, you told me and um, another project leader, Nena, that you don't live here, but you come here a lot. Um, so tell us a bit more about why you you come here and um, what made you, you know. What I actually I found the area. I, I discovered the area because of the canal. Many people like to cycle in the canal, you know, but they have nothing to do in a Sunday afternoon or Saturday, you know, in a summer day, okay? You come and cycle in the canal because it's flat, it's nice to cycle, okay? And so I saw the skate park. Yeah. And then with the time I again and again and I decided to get a skate for myself, a skateboard for myself and I started using it. So I've, I got now go in the shops, I know the guy from the pub in there, I get friends in the area, I get to know people. So now I have friends. I'm, even though I'm not a local, this is the local place for me to skateboard. This is the place where I frequent. Well, I'm always around. There's three skate parks around. There's the Royal Oak, there's the Bay 66 just down there, and the Meanwhile Gardens. So if, because I'm on the skateboard thing, for me it's easy to come in here. I find my friends, the locals, I like it. And does that create a sense of community for you? Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't feel isolated, I have my friends in here. I'm part of it now. Been a long time I'm around, I'm part of it, I feel part of the community now. Tell me what that means to you. It's important, you have to have a sense of community. Because uh, some people live isolated, like uh, they just socialize inside their little group, you know, like you live in an aquarium. I don't feel like that. I go in there, meanwhile, in the, with the place, the, the locals, it doesn't matter for me if it's black or if it's Asian or if it's Muslim or Christian. We are all part of this community. This is our area now. We all help each other, we're all friendly with each other. I never had any trouble in here. That's why I like this area. Unlike the other place where I've been, where the people said, do oh, we have a gang running this place? We don't like strangers in here. In here I never find that. I always be welcome in here. So I like this area. And do you think for you, if uh, these developments go on, it's going to change that sense of community for you? Uh, I don't think it will be so hard on the sense of community, because it will even have more people and will come. But it's the idea of fiddling with a listed building. That you don't like. I don't like this idea. It's listed because they want to preserve it the way that it is. That's why it's a listed building. We don't want anything around. That's what it is. The, the state, the way that it looks, it's good. That's what it is. We don't want to fiddle with it. Um, I'm not sure if you do know that if um, the developments happen and, and, and the sky goes on, the skate park is at risk of, of going. No, the skate park will never go. That is... is it's solid. The skate park will be there forever. We will oppose it completely about this. 
the skate park is not going. We go in there and make a strike in front of the bulldozers if they want to bulldoze that thing because that's our life. We enjoy it. It's not only work, work, work. We want to also enjoy life, to have uh, fun. That's a place for us to have fun. We cannot break that thing down. If they promised that they will build a, a better one in somewhere else. No, we don't want. We have our story in there. Kids grew up in that uh, meanwhile bowl. They grew up with that since many years ago. We don't want that thing. It's part of our history now. I think they should list also the, the skateboard. They should what? List the skateboard also. Tell me more about that. Yes, the, because it is a, it's part of this, the history of this area now. We cannot destroy that. I, th I think if they make a development, they skate ball, it will not be at risk. It cannot. No one ha can have the idea to destroy that. It's unacceptable for us. If you go there and tell the kids that are playing in there now that they have a plan to develop in that area, they, anyone that I know will oppose, because that's the place to have fun. Some of the kids go there, they don't go in pubs, they don't do anything else. Some of the adult people that go there, they don't, don't go in pubs, they don't socialize in pubs or anything. That's the place where they socialize, that's the place where they meet their friends, where they have the barbecue on a Sunday afternoon. That is, is their place to enjoy life. Are there any sort of days that stick out to you um, where you, you've come down here and it's been, you know, a day that sort of like you remember very well? Oh, many times, many times. Yeah, would you like to sort of like elaborate on one of those days, your experience that day of being in this area? Oh, it's so many, man, because I've been here for such a long time now. It's been two years and we, we join our friends and kids and make a barbecue and enjoy all the afternoon, a hot afternoon, you know, in the summer. There are many, many times where I had a good time in there. Only last weekend we had a barbecue in there. People from the half pipe, the bike shop just around the corner in there, they brought a barbecue, we put the barbecue up, brand new, put it up, went to the Sunsbury, bought the thing, bought fish and thing. Spent the afternoon in there having a barbecue, only last weekend, only last Sunday. That's our life, that's how we enjoy, how we enjoy life, you know.